Hey guys, Chubbs here, and today I just sort of wanted to explain the different map formats that are available in Doom Builder. I would also like to start by saying that although I'm currently using Ultimate Doom Builder, the version of Doom Builder that you use doesn't really matter a whole lot. The information that I'm going to give you in this video will apply either way. So if you aren't sure what I mean by map format, this is what's available whenever you go up to New Map, like I've done just now, and under game configuration, you can see that I've set up Ultimate Doom Builder so that I have either Doom format or UDMF for a Doom 2 map. And UDMF stands for Universal Doom Map Format, but we'll sort of get to that later. So when I say format, this is what I'm referring to. So to set up the different map formats, I'm going to cancel this right here. And we'll just go to Tools, Game Configurations. And you can see that you have a whole bunch of them. And if you're brand new to this, your head is probably spinning and you're, you probably have no idea what you're looking at. But I'm just going to sort of break this down one piece at a time. So looking at all these different uh, configurations and formats here, the first entry or the first sort of column here is just the engine or source port that you plan on using. This isn't really a huge deal, but since I use GZ Doom, I've just gone with that. Next, after the engine, is the name of the game that you plan to make a map for. So you can see that you have Doom, and we also have Heretic and Hexen and Strife. And finally, after the game, is the map format, which is what this video is all about. And you can see that since I'm using GZ Doom, we have access to three different map formats for Doom. We have Doom Format, Hexen Format, and finally UDMF. And the reason it just says UDMF instead of UDMF Format is because the F in UDMF stands for Format. I often call it UDMF Format by mistake, but really it should just be called UDMF. So let's just discuss the differences between these three formats. Doom Format is basically just the vanilla Doom map format. So whenever you design a map with this, you're going to be stuck with the vanilla Doom actions. This means that you're not going to be able to do uh, actual 3D floors or uh, scripting or anything like that. The maps that you design are going to be just like the ones in the vanilla Doom games. Next, you have Hexen Format. And this is sort of self-explanatory. This is a format that brings in all of the new features that Hexen added way back when Hexen came out. So it added uh, scripting and a whole bunch of other new things that Doom didn't have before. And that's really what it is. It's just an enhanced version of Doom format with scripting and a bunch of brand new features. Finally, we have the one that I consider to be the uh, most relevant or the most important as of today, and that is UDMF or Universal Doom Map Format. UDMF is basically a Hexen Format successor, so it takes everything that Hexen Format added, the scripting, support for 3D floors, all that stuff, and it gives you even more flexibility. So if you're making a map today and you want to be able to use all the brand new features and scripting and, you know, just make your map uh, really crazy and make it do things that would never be possible in the original Doom games, UDMF is the format that you should be using. There's really no good reason to use Hexen format today, in my opinion, because like I said, UDMF format, or UDMF I should say, does everything Hexen format does and more. It's just a better, more modern Hexen format. So that's really all you need to know about these formats. Um, if you're making a vanilla map, Doom format. If you're making a modern map that has a bunch of cool new features, UDMF. That's really all you need to know. I would like to wrap this video up by talking about how you can convert a map from one format to another because although that initial conversion is actually pretty easy to do, getting the map to behave properly afterwards can be pretty tedious and time consuming, and I'm going to show you why that is. So let's close this game configurations panel, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up 
Doom 2 Map 01, and you can see that it's just using the vanilla Doom Map format. So if we open it up here, because we're using the vanilla format like we should be, everything will be just fine. So let's go here to the very first door that you encounter in Map 01. And in line mode, if we pull up its actions, you can see that everything is just fine. The action is door open stay like it should be. And it's going to be the same for the rest of the map. All of the line actions will be okay. But what if we wanted to take this map and do modern things with it, like scripting and 3D floors and all kinds of cool lighting effects and everything that UDMF format would provide? Well, in order to convert it, first what you would want to do is go up to Edit, and then Map Options. You can also just press F2. And when the panel pops up here, you simply choose the map format that you'd like to convert it to, which in our case will be UDMF, and click OK. But you can see that Doom Builder warns us that because UDMF format is a different map format than what this map currently uses, things may not work correctly. And we're going to see why that is. So I'm going to click Yes to convert it anyways. And at first everything looks just fine, but if we go back to that door that we were just looking at here and pull up its line actions, you can see it's all gone screwy on us. The action now is stairs build down, which is clearly wrong. And the activation now is when player walks over. And that's for a door, that's obviously not, not what you would want. So... The reason for this is every map format sort of treats its line actions and sector actions differently. So whenever you perform this conversion, what you're going to have to do if you want the map to behave like it did before is just sort of tediously go through and reassign every line action and sector action. And you may even have to go to your things and check out their properties and make sure everything's okay. So for this door, just as an example, before, in vanilla Doom map format, it was just uh, door open stay. To sort of convert that to UDMF format, what I would want to do here is under activation, uncheck player walks over, because that's not what we want. Instead, we want it to be when the player presses use. And for the action, instead of stairs build down, we would just want to go and do something like door open. And these default parameters should be fine. So now, this would pretty much be an exact conversion and it would make the door behave just like it does in the original game. And this process would be the same if we took a, a UDMF map and tried to convert it over to a vanilla map. You would have to go through and pretty much redo all of the line and sector actions. And again, you may want to check out the things themselves. Uh, like these zombie men here, you may want to just pull up the thing properties and make sure that all these flags and stuff are correct. So converting maps, uh, you know, the initial conversion, like I said, is easy. It's just a few clicks under the uh, map options here. But to go through and have to reassign all of the line actions and sector actions, that is going to be tedious and time consuming. And you're probably going to want to make a copy of the original map just as reference when you're reassigning all those actions. So that's pretty much all you need to know about map formats and converting. So if you guys have any questions at all about the different map formats or converting a map from one format to the next, feel free to leave a comment below. I'm also going to put some links down in the video description to the ZDoom Wiki because there are some pages on there that sort of discuss the different map formats and that just give a more detailed breakdown on UDMF format and the history of it and so on and so forth. But as always, I appreciate everybody watching. This is Chubbs signing out.